October 3rd, 2023, in the year of our Lord, and I just got the True Cool Transmission Cooler completely installed on this 2008 Grand Prix GXP. Got it finished last night, and there was a few... Uh, leaks here and there and that's all been repaired and I'm taking it out for a test drive uh, and so far the temperature is keeping well below than what it would normally go at this point of driving which I've been driving for like 15 minutes or excuse me 15 miles I would be at about 200 if not more barely 172 the oil temperature of the transmission so I am taking it to put it to the test I've uh, just been waiting to get this transmission cooler installed to do what it got to do and I'm heading towards the Mexican border so I can do some uh, speed test and be monitoring, of course, the transmission fluid temperature, which is stabilized at well below 200 for this amount of driving that I've done so far. So, yeah, so far so good. And I'll just go through the one thing, I did put a new battery, and on startup, it gets up to over 14 volts, so that tells me the alternator is doing its job, but I do notice during driving, it gets down below 13, so, then remember, it's a new battery, so that's, might be the battery's no good, who knows. Shouldn't be at 12.8 cents after getting charged at startup over 14 volts. But we'll keep an eye on that. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's see, I'm at 73,509 miles on this vehicle. I've only put I think probably 2,000 miles or less on it. I have to check my record to see what the exact mileage was when I got it. But yeah, I mean, I haven't driven it that much. So, still 172. I'm going to give her some gas. Continuing on here, <clears throat> so I've made it here to Mexico to do some speed tests and the 
temperature on my vehicle, on the transmission temperature is 177. Well below the 200 to 220 where it would normally be at this far distance from my house, you know, driving. It would weigh, it would be way like 220 this far away from my house driving. So that transmission cooler is doing an excellent job. Can't be more happier, no leaks. As I said, this is where in Mexico where you're, you know, you can do some vehicle testing, so to speak. And that's what I intend to do. So, uh, yeah, so I just want to make that point. These true cool um, transmission cooler units are really awesome. I mean, like I said, my vehicle would be way over 200 at this point of driving, and it's barely 177. And you've seen that burst of speed didn't even go up over 180. As a matter of fact, it went from 179 to 178, and then now it's settled at 177. So I'm very pleased with the True Cool transmission cooler. And now I'm just going to do a few test runs with it to put it to the ultimate test which I have not been able to do because of the transmission heat issue with these vehicles. So I'm gonna get set up here. So just give me a few seconds here and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so there you see the date. Battery. Engine hours, max G's, oil life, transmission temperature 177, and let's do it. I could have got more up to 140 at least misjudged the road distance length it is so we'll give it one more shot temperature is staying went up a little but not too much
two high speed runs. Transmission cooler is holding up real good. Temperature only got up to 194. So that is good news. I mean, that's putting it to the test to say, I mean, that's, you know, really putting it to the test. So this test here in Mexico is complete. Wish I could have got it up to over a 140, but you know, gotta be careful on these things. So see you all in the next one. Okay, here's a little bonus coverage I forgot to add. So driving back to my house after that little test drive, uh, you can see here the temperature stabilizing at 183 it goes it's going to go lower probably to settle at 178 by the time i finally get home so yes i am very very pleased with this transmission cooler from true cool and i'm just gonna park here show you a little video of the car it's been washed detailed Let's see, let you see how it looks <laughs> 